Hey, I'm Scott. And I'm Chris. And this is Doxologic, where we help you think with your Bible. Okay, uh, next question. Is there anything wrong with swearing on the Bible, like in court where you're asked to place your hand on the Bible and swear to tell the truth? Mm. I thought that was going somewhere else. Is there anything wrong with swearing is where it started. And I was like... <laughs> I think we covered this at some point recently, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not this one. Uh, wait, wait, before you start. <laughs> Put Promise to tell the, the whole truth. Chris. And nothing Got it. but... Look, I'm Whoa. okay. I just... Well, I didn't even say the thing. To but, tell uh, the whole truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So, so help, help me, you. God. Yeah. So this has been common practice in America for a couple hundred years. Um, it's not... It's not like unanimously practiced in every courtroom these days, I don't think. I imagine people probably swear on maybe different religious texts that sure. they might observe or whatever it would be, whether that be the, something or, like the Quran or, or some other or book. Just or just raising or, your hand. Or not yeah. at all. Yeah. Plenty of people sure. who, are, who are humanists, atheists, fully, in the sense, secularist, will, will even refuse to do that because they're just saying like... This means nothing to me. I'm not going to do it. So, we we'll just say it's not like it's uh, uh, quite as um, um, again unanimous c- comes to mind, but it's not used everywhere anymore. But um, I, I I don't know if there's like a strong stance to say if you were suddenly a witness on a stand and you were expected to do that, that you as a Christian you have to stop. I, I think about Matthew like meaning stop as in don't do that. Yeah. I think about Matthew five though and yeah. Verse 33. Okay, yeah, go ahead and read it. But the call you. of Christ to, uh, to, to what he's going to say here, which would be a, a caution. Jesus says, Again, you have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not swear falsely, but shall perform to the Lord what you have sworn. But I say to you, don't take an oath at all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not take an oath by your head, For you cannot make one hair white or black. Let what you say simply be yes or no. Anything more than this comes from evil. Hmm. Well, there's an interesting background to that text anyway, which is essentially that there were these technicalities to how, um, how much of an oath was that? It's like, uh, what levels you, you, oh, you only swore by, um, the footstool uh, of the Lord. Oh, you only, uh, you know, you only swore by, um, the city of the great King, you you know, by Jerusalem, there were these kind of levels, you know, it'd be like, uh, the, the best I can say is like pinky swear versus, um, you know, someone saying, I swear to God kind of thing. And like they, and whether or not that's irreverent or not is not my point, but to say there's like levels to people like, okay, you promise? Yeah. Do you pinky swear? Or like people swearing swear on their on your dead mother- relatives. Yeah, swear yeah. on your dead relatives. Go in there, yeah. Those kind of things. And I think Jesus points pretty clear. What you say you're going to do, do it. And when you say you're not going to do it, stand by that as well. Yet you're yet let your yes be yes and your no be no. I, I would also go and say there's a similar passage in James, um, and he says something quite um, almost exactly like Jesus in verse twelve, James five twelve. But above all, my brothers, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or by any other oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, so that you may not fall under condemnation. So it's kind of like, you know, um, you could swear on the Bible, but is there something higher than the Bible you're going to swear to? Your word should just be your word. You you should just do it. You don't need to put your hand on a Bible. You don't need to swear by, what what does he have here? You don't need to swear by heaven, which I would imagine is higher than swearing by earth. Right? Right. That would be my guess uh, just by looking at it. Yeah. Uh, Or by any other oath you can make up. You know, it's like, well, I'm not going to do that because I only swore by earth. Mm -hmm. Did you want (laughs) to... heaven level one because that'll cost more because that'll cost more right that kind of yeah so i I just think um our word matters our words are bond like kind of you you need to be true to what you've said you'll do Mm -hmm. so swearing on the bible outside of court probably don't do that could just let your yes be a yes and your no be a no but if you're in court and a judge asks you to swear on a bible maybe don't panic (laughs) <laughs> don't yeah well i mean don't panic uh recognize though that just i don't, I don't know I'm, I'm a little bit stumped on that one because i just i don't have enough experience on the history of it but just to say like i would hope that if you refuse to do that and then say like 
something like my yes is my yes and my, my truth is my bond. And I, I, I absolutely um, take seriously that. I, I, I promise to tell the truth. If you become suspect, though, I would almost wonder, like, are you setting up a stumbling block for yourself in that courtroom if you refuse to do? I don't think so anymore. Yeah. I, I, don't, I think these days it's just not, not what it used to be. You mm-hmm. know, like that person can't be trusted if he refused to swear on the Bible. Right. Yeah, there's definitely a sense of... It's a tough one for me. Yeah. I mean, I think the swearing is a divine accountability that you're going to tell the truth. Yeah. Right? So I think knowing that lying is sin, then we are okay with telling the truth and committing to telling the truth. We don't need to swear on a Bible for it. We have a lordship to, you know, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as such, we will um, walk in our newness of life, which includes Mm truth-telling. Yep. Put off the old, put on the new. You've been listening to Doxologic, a podcast by Doxa Church in Rockland, California. To learn more, visit us online at doxa.church.